Hi, boys and girls. Today is Thursday, April 22nd, and we're going to be finishing up lesson six of chapter six. So you will watch and listen to this lesson, and then you're going to complete the work on slide number five. In this introduction slide, you see a computer technician, a guy fixing a computer. Someone working on the assembly line or fixing tires on a car, and then a doctor or nurse in the medical field. These, this, this whole lesson is about the jobs of tomorrow. Think about this question while you read. How can you get ready for the kind of work you will do as an adult? Michigan has been around for a long time. Many years ago, the fur trading was our biggest business. Over the years, this business slowed down. Now it is gone. Later, we had copper mining. Now all the copper mines are closed. Once loggers worked cutting down our trees. How many loggers do you know today? These businesses are not what they once were. About 80 years ago, most cars were made here. We still make cars, but that is changing too. We all face changes. The products people need and want change. The businesses that can make products for the lowest cost change. Today, workers in other countries work for less. The cost of human resources in Michigan is higher. This means most products can be made for less in another place. This is a big issue for Michigan. What can we do about it? For us to succeed, we must work smarter and work harder. Businesses will always be important. We need them to give us jobs and we need them to hire workers. On the um, right corner, you will see a graphic. It says U.S. cars and trucks made in Michigan. It says in 1914, 80% were made here. In 1935, 49%. In 1982, only 36%. In 2000, 30%, and in 2007, only 22%. So that's been quite a while already, and it's probably gone down even more. So that graphic you are going to need to look at again when you do your homework on slide number five. The question is, which businesses will they be? It is important to have new businesses to replace the ones that have faded away. If we do not do this, there may not be enough jobs. Long ago, people left their home countries to find work. We did not want and do not want the people to leave here to find work somewhere else. Our state wants new businesses. It likes the ones that use high technology or high tech. The governor has talked about it. Workers in these businesses need education. They must know how to use computers. They need to know how to use complex machines. There is a part of Michigan called Automation Alley. What does that mean? Automation is a way for machines to do most of the work by themselves. The alley is like a small street. It does not actually mean a small street in this case. It's just a nickname. We call it an alley because it's an area. This is part of Michigan where many high-tech companies are. This area is near Detroit. It includes eight counties. Over 300,000 highly skilled people work in the alley. The company, a company there may make robots. It might design software for computers. It might sell or it may make solar cells. Solar cells take light from the sun and change them into electricity. Research is an important to high-tech companies. Research is using science to find new ways to do things. High-tech companies um, and businesses, it's often found near universities. There they have men and women who know much about science. They also spend a lot of time doing research. The universities can help these new businesses. They can share their knowledge. They can find answers to all kinds of things, right? 
Universities also do research on life sciences. What are life sciences? They are connected to our health. People working in these areas may try to cure a disease like cancer or make products to help people feel better and live longer. We already have some big science, uh, life science businesses. Many people want to see us have more of these businesses here. Starting a high-tech business is not easy. It takes a great deal of money. The business needs computers and other equipment. Paying scientists costs a lot too. There are risks in this kind of business. Sometimes things do not work out. The business may fail. If that happens, the investors lose all their money. Our government wants new businesses to start here too. Businesses pay taxes. They pay wages for workers and the workers also pay taxes. This helps the government to pay its cost. Business is good for all of us. Since government wants new businesses, they will help start them. How do they do that? They may have um, and give them incentives. Remember that an incentive is an a re reward for doing a certain action. In this case, it is a reward for starting a business. It is to help the business start in Michigan. Incentives may be tax breaks. They may be loans for money. These things make it easier for new businesses to get started. They help new companies keep going until they get bigger and stronger. What kind of jobs will you have when you grow up? Maybe you will make or help make cars that will go to other places by themselves. That'd be cool. Maybe you will help build windmills that make electricity. Who knows? Could be anything. You're going to now slide number five. It's asking you to take the blue rectangles on the right hand side of the page and move them to the graph on the left hand side. You can see my directions up there. It says use page uh, 315, which is also slide number two of this presentation and the blue shaded boxes below to complete the graph. You can click and drag them to the area column where they belong. So you're gonna take these right here and move them over there one at a time. And then you're gonna answer the questions on this page and then right here on this page. All right, that's all for now.